need to get my backup camera working again so I can actually see how far I've backed up to these spots, but we'll get out and take a look. Oh, I got plenty of room. All right, guys, we've made it to camp. Uh, it's a pretty busy campsite, actually. It's a popular one, but it has pavement, so I can ride my longboard. But there's some squirrels up in the tree that aren't too happy with me. Uh, I do have electricity, electricity here, so I'm probably going to plug my fan in. Although it's supposed to be very nice tonight. I think it's like 80 degrees right now. We've got a low in the 50s tonight, so it's going to be beautiful. But I think I'm going to get out of these jeans and we'll get the old board out and we'll take a take a long trip to the other side of the park so stay tuned y'all all right i switched to the gopro for this longboard ride because i really don't want to fall and break my other camera all right All right, y'all, as you can see, I've got some music going. I've got headphones in, but it's a long ways to where I want to go. It's all the way on the other side of the park, but we should be able to make it. I've got a couple bottles of water with me and uh, I have to climb this big hill here just to get out of this little camping area. And then we'll probably get into skating. It's just a little too steep right here. So uh, yeah, let's roll. I just bit it hard. Mark is trying to kill me. Maybe it's flat spots. Holy, holy crap, dude, I ate it. That was pretty awesome though. Man, I bit it hard. But we've got a nice pond in front of us. Thanks for the board, Mark. Now I'm back on the board. I've only fallen one more time, but it's really the level right here. You get down, you gotta get back up, right? Sketchy. I can go over this. Yeah. Very slowly. I'm gonna hit a big one and eat it. Oh, I think I need to go off this way anyways. Oh. About ate it right there. Well, I'm trying. Uh, it's a beautiful park. I'd say the bench here is a little overgrown. All right, let's keep rolling. I got some horsies. What up, little homie? Sure, he's probably pretty friendly, but he might bite. What's up, bud? What do you think of that? Should I try to pet him? Can I pet you, buddy? You got blue eyes. No. I'm afraid he's gonna bite me. No. There we go. Oh, sorry. I dropped my board. Yeah. There's a bunch of them out here. It's gonna squirt him. We got a big one up here. What's up, big guy? How's it going, bud? Can I say hi to you? You might think this is food. I don't want 
bother them too much. Please don't bite me. Eh, it's been a long time since I've touched the horse. Well, I'm gonna let these guys hang out. There's some more down there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Come on, come on. Going for a walk. It's a good horsey. And you don't want to go this far? I'm going to keep going this way. We got a few more guys hanging out up here. What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? We good? You guys look like some teenagers. How you guys doing? I gotta get my other camera out, take a better picture. All right, taking off from the horses. We've got a windmill over here, big old school wooden windmill. You know, I'm glad I wasn't holding my nice camera when I biffed it earlier. That may have been a very expensive mistake. Although I know the GoPro does not look near as nice. Yeah, big old windmill. All right, should we keep going? Let's keep going. You guys see it? How do I stop this thing? made it to the top. We've got an observation tower. My campsite's way over there somewhere. And you've got the Platte River here. Uh, it's a little bit windy up here. But if you guys have been following along, you know that I was up on a similar tower to this last winter. That's off that direction somewhere. Uh, I don't know exactly where, but we've got a beautiful view of the Platte River here. Their new building they put up here uh, and it's like it's an island in the middle here and you guys probably can't tell but the Lincoln City well water comes from here cool spot I see the whole park so the entrance to the park is over there uh, and I'm camped out over there you've got the interstate running along here you guys can see the interstate off in the distance, along with the buzzards flying around. How's it going? Really cool spot, uh, great views. If you guys know where it's at, you know where it's at, but I've gotta make it all the way back to the other side of the park and I should have enough light left to get a fire going and make something to eat. I've got something new I wanna try tonight, so it should be pretty tasty, y'all. Going fast. I just wanna go fast. This is pretty awesome, Mark, man. I appreciate it. It's only almost killed me twice so far. Ooh, we got a bump here. With the ball! Okay. <laughs> Need to go this way, I think. Got a little bit of a hill here. I don't 
think I'm gonna make it up the hill. I gotta start walking anyways. I'll go this way. All right, that was the longest bomb I've done so far, but I've got to walk a little trail back down. Uh, and I'm not about to skate that trail. So I'll see you guys when we get back to the campsite. All right, y'all. Oh, well, I've made it back to camp and I finally bought one of these thermocells. I've used it once already uh, at the drive-in theater. We'll get that thing going. And I'm sweating like a pig. I got a shirt to change into, but I'm gonna wait till I cool down a little bit before I change. So, definitely, definitely need a beer after that. So, got a little bit of rash there, which that's not bad. And then, must have hit myself in the ankle with the board. But as far as I can tell, that's it. But I'm itchy, and I think it's because I fell in the grass and I was sweaty. And I grabbed this from my local grocery store, Bottle Rocket Blonde. Bottle Rocket Brewing in Seward, Nebraska, so it's pretty local. The Bottle Rocket Blonde image is a callback to artwork seen on the American B-52 bomber during World War II, inspired by American pilots past and present. We honor their soaring bravery by creating a great tasting patriotic craft beer. Bottle Rocket Blonde Ale, 5.2%. Uh, it's good. Reminds me a lot of like Bud Heavy. It's definitely, it's a blonde, but it's definitely heavier than a light beer. Uh, I'm gonna relax for a minute, stop sweating, enjoy my beer, probably grab my chair, and then we'll get a fire going. Well, I better cook something before I completely run out of light here. Uh, it's a little dark back here, but we'll grab what we need. Cooler. Yes. So I picked up this sandwich thing. It's like a cast iron sandwich cooker. It does come apart. You just put your bread in there, right? I have not used this before. And it's probably not seasoned, but we're just gonna send it anyways. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the interstate in the background. Um, for the sandwich, we're gonna do some wheat bread. We've got roast beef and pepper jack, and we're gonna throw a couple jalapenos on there. We're gonna toss it on the fire and see what happens. I've never done this. I do have a little Pam spray to put on the outside of that bread. I think that might help a little bit. But maybe I'll just spray this, I don't know. 
I'm sure some cast iron guy out there is screaming at me. So you can pick these things up all over, but a lot of them seem like the bread did not fit inside of them. This one does. All right. cheese on both sides. Cheese. A couple of jalapenos on there, and these are the spicy ones. It'd be better if these were chopped up a little smaller, but it'll be all right. All right, we've got some chalops on there. We're gonna do meats. Just drop that on the table. Probably could have five second ruled that one, but. Maybe one more piece. We'll go a few more jalops, right? It's gonna be a spicy sandwich. I'm gonna regret it. Another piece of cheese. Another piece of bread. We're gonna try to mush this thing together and toss it on the fire. Alright, let's see what we can do here. minutes each side then we do it. I think it's about time to pull that thing off. Alright guys, I did like six minutes each side. I don't know if I should set it down here or not, but is it done. I mean it's melted and hot, but it's not like it's it's not toasted. Like I would want it to be toasted. It was like I was hoping it was toasted. Maybe the other side is. No, but I mean it's crispy and it's steaming and the cheese is melted. Maybe next time I need to give it more time. It smells good, looks good. Looks good to me. We'll show you guys this maybe. <laughs> I have terrible lighting out here. Yeah, the cheese is all melted. It's steaming. We're just going to give it a whirl. Um, I've got this tater salad, and I also have these Doritos Dynamita Flamin' Hot Queso. So we'll try those too. Get open. Get our tater salad open. First bite, tater salad. Steakhouse tater salad. Smoky. I'm feeling this is going to be like molten on the inside. I 
it's good. Spicy. That was a jalapeno. That's really good. Yeah, it was starting to brown up. I gave it like six, six-ish minutes, like I said. I should have probably given it a little bit longer. Or maybe put it farther down on the coals. Or maybe having a properly seasoned piece of cast iron would have been better. These are good though. They're not super spicy, but... Sandwich is right though. I'm going to use this thing quite a bit, I think. It is spicy with the jalapenos. You definitely don't have to put that on there, but just the roast beef and pepper jack cheese is pretty good. I mean, you could put like onions, whatever you want in there. Toast it right in that thing over the fire really easily. I like that. Well guys, I'm gonna probably finish up my tater salad and eat some chips and, and finish my drink, but I need to get this stuff cleaned up. And uh, the fire's about out. I don't even think you guys can see it behind me. I'm probably sitting right in front of it. I don't know, but I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up and we're gonna head into the truck. in the rig got to get some of this junk put away take this hat off I don't need that on These shoes off oh, my right butt cheek hurts I probably have a big bruise back there my back's a little sore but overall we didn't die so that's all that mattered we didn't break anything normally this is when I would watch a movie but I completely forgot to pack my tablet tonight so this feels a lot nicer on my busted butt. Gosh dang movie would be nice right about now. I've got a good data plan, but I don't think I could... I could probably download a movie. But I'm sure there's plenty of stuff on YouTube I can watch. I need a kickstand for my phone. Oop, Adam LZ's live. I'm guessing most of you guys probably don't know who Adam LZ is. Big guy, big YouTuber guy, but different content. 402 Outdoors did an underwater spear ship, spear fishing vid. I'm gonna have to check that out. John B got a new boat. I'm gonna have to watch that. So I've got plenty to watch. I'm gonna hang out for a while, guys. Enjoy the beer, and I will see you in the morning. And we'll see if I can still move. Seven o'clock, seven ten. Oh well, I didn't sleep the greatest. Only because my butt hurts, my ass cheek hurts. Other than that, it was a beautiful night. Just rolling over on my side. On this other side was not very comfortable. I gotta get up. Sun's just starting to come up over there. I gotta get home today, I got things to do, and I gotta get my boat running, because I got a trip coming up, and yeah, I have things to get taken care of. So y'all, uh, it's time to get rolling. <sighs> Waking folks up. Good morning, everybody. Well, 
Golly, oh my ass is sore. I'm curious what it looks like in the mirror. I don't know if you guys are gonna get to see any of that. Um, I'm gonna start the day off with a Duncan right here. Just because it's the best iced coffee out there, in my humble opinion. And I gotta get home. And I gotta get some videos edited. I gotta get the boat fixed. There's a bit of work that goes into that. And uh, if I can get all that stuff done, I'm actually leaving today. Ooh, come back. Stop it. I'm gonna crash. Where was I at? Yeah. I got a bunch of crap I gotta get done today. And then I got like a three ish hour drive. So. And the homie just messaged me. I thought they couldn't get their spot till four, but he just messaged and said that they can check in at noon. So yeah, it's gonna be busy and uh, a hectic push to get things done today, no matter what I do, but this trip should be cool. Ooh, we got a trash can here. All right, I'm gonna throw my trash away, go home and get my stuff taken care of. So stay tuned. I'll see you on the next adventure.